Introducing a phenomenal new equalization plugin, a joint venture between PSP and Avitas Audio Electronics. This is the E27, a meticulous digital recreation of the hardware analog E27 equalizer. Suitable for both mixing and mastering, this plugin simulates the unique nonlinear behavior of this highly sought after original. Each of the bands is fully sweepable. Use the outside ring of each knob to select the frequency. Then use the red inner knob to control the boost or cut of that relative band. A unique characteristic of the E27 is that the bandwidth or cue is relative, and the more you boost or cut, the tighter the cue becomes. You can also click on a frequency to jump straight to it. Click the off button to switch that band off, then click off again to get back to the last used frequency. Clicking the low shelf button makes the low frequency EQ function as a shelf instead of as a bell. Clicking the high shelf button engages shelf characteristics for the high band filter. Clicking the in button allows you to turn processing on or off for the filters. Even if the filters are disengaged, the E27 will still influence the sound through its thorough emulation. And in a minute, we'll demonstrate the drive saturation control, which takes effect whether or not the filters are engaged. By default, the plugin links the two sides together, but you can unlink the two sides if you want by disabling Link. You can run the E27 in its default 3-band mode, or you can click the X2 button to instantly run duplicate modules. The E27 can also run in standard stereo mode, or by clicking MS, you can switch it into mid-side mode. The five monitor buttons let you activate middle, left, stereo, right, or side monitoring. The BPS buttons let you switch off processing for one channel at a time. Or, you can hit the power button to completely bypass the main audio engines. Clicking the PA11 button activates a special mode that adds the PA11 preamp modules to the processing chain. With the PA11, you can control the output distortion from the drive knob, set a master high-pass filter frequency, and control the master output level for the channel. The 28K button enhances high frequencies around the 28 kHz band using a special bell filter which adds a gentle and musical effect to the high end. You can invert polarity by clicking the polarity button. Finally, Trafo X allows you to bypass input and output transformers in the channel chain, disabling the harmonics that the transformers add. Amp X allows you to disable the distortion produced by active filter circuits in the E27 module. Here's what some top engineers and producers have to say. Very hardware sounding. The line or separation between excellent sounding hardware and plugin emulations is, for all intents and purposes, gone. In the DAW or out of it, especially with this EQ, it's all the same now. Musicality, ease of use, and simplicity are the key elements of the E27. Extended frequency response, smooth, sweet relative Q design adds up to great sonic features making the E27 invaluable in every project I've used it on. Once again, PSP delivers something special, a new EQ model, based on hardware that may not be familiar to everyone, but delivers a superb sound, a kind of love child of a Neve API. This is a beautiful addition to the PSP line. At its heart is a faithful recreation of the Avitas hardware EQ, but its true strength lies in additional functions like the PA11 preamp module and the X2 mode, which allows you to layer two sets of E27 modules in a single instance. This goes above and beyond the hardware. When you add the ability to switch from left-right to mid-side operation, this plugin really packs a punch. Even in a world where there are numerous choices for EQ processing, the PSP E27 offers a unique model of a highly prized analog EQ with a lot of ability to shape your mixes in highly musical ways. Visit PSPAudioWare.com and try the free demo today.